Hi, my name is uh, Andreas Kalin, and I've been competing in bodybuilding since 1969, and uh, I competed most recently in the IFB Masters Mr. Olympia in 2012, December 2012. I'm 61 now, I'll be 62 next month. And I thought we would talk a little bit about abdominals today, and abdominal training, and that leads us to abdominal mythology, and there's a lot of that around. And some people wonder if it's true, what they might have read or uh, heard, that quite a few top pro bodybuilders, some with very nice abdominal development, uh, do not do any specific abdominal exercises at all. And uh, I'm here to tell you that that is true. And as far as myself goes, I'll do some abdominal training periodically, but for the most part, I'm in the category of true bodybuilders who do not do any specific abdominal exercises. And uh, these are the kind of abs I do maintain on a daily basis, 365 days a year, decade in and decade out. So, I'm giving you my two cents worth on abdominal development and abdominal maintenance. I wrote down a few pointers here for myself, so uh, this is a candy thing. It's not a reverse. I'm just going to give you some key points here. So, uh, is it true that deadlifts and squats, or just squats alone, could give you all the abdominal stimulation you need to maintain sharp abs as long as other required aspects are there? I say absolutely right on. Not only those two exercises, but many other exercises that we do in the gym have a secondary effect stimulating your abdominals, certainly sufficiently to win the Mr. Olympia. Because some of those guys who did, did not do any specific abdominal exercises prior to the competition. Not saying that they never did any abdominal exercises, but there's more than one pro to came, who, out there who came to the conclusion that, uh, you know, endless abdominal work is not what's going to give you sharp depth. However, though, endless observation of a number of other factors that do give you sharp abs is where it's at. You might have heard the saying that abdominal sharp abs are in the kitchen. They're cooked in the kitchen or they're created in the kitchen. There's a lot to it. Can anyone have sharp abs? I would say yes. Can you still improve your abdominals with exercise? Yes, you can. To what extent is that in the end going to determine whether you have 